Hello everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. Today we are going to be explaining the physics behind the famous Pink Floyd t-shirt. Now, in order to do so, we need to, we need to introduce a couple of concepts and the first one of them is known as the refractive index. Refraction occurs whenever a wave changes its medium. For instance, over here we have light, which is white light consisting of all the different wavelengths and it moves right at this boundary between air and glass. We can see that it will change its direction and will also change its speed. Refraction will occur once again at this position just there when it's moving from glass back into air. Now how much does the light actually bend is determined by the refractive index. Let's have a look. The refractive index is actually defined, let's call the refractive index n, as the ratio between the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of light in that medium. Remember, we are given the speed of light in our formula booklet, so C is equal to approximately 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Let's have a look at some common values of refractive indices. For instance, the refractive index of air is approximately 1.0. In reality, it is actually equal to 1.0003. Three, I believe. Uh, however, for all exam purposes, we are always going to assume that the refractive index of air is just one. Additionally, the refractive area of glass well, depends a little bit on the type of glass. However, it will normally be close to the region of approximately 1.5. Notice that those values which I've just given have no units. This is because the refractive index is calculated by the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of light in a substance. C is measured in meters per second. V is also measured in meters per second. Meters per second divided by meters per second will give us no units. So there are no units attached to the refractive index. We can use the refractive index formula to calculate the speed of light in a substance. For instance, if we wanted to calculate the speed of light in glass, knowing that the refractive index of glass is 1.5, then all we need to do is essentially have our formula n is equal to c over v then we're just going to rearrange for the speed of light in that medium which is v so v will be equal to c divided by n which will be 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 and uh, we're going to be dividing that by the refractive index of glass which is approximately 1.5 like so, and what we're going to be left with is that the speed of light in a glass, let's call it V glass or V, is going to be equal to 2.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Okay, folks, now just to recap what we've learned so far, whenever light passes from one medium to another medium, it can change its direction and speed. This phenomena is known as refraction, has been showed here and here as well. The refractive index is defined as the ratio of the speed of light in a vacuum to the speed of light in that particular substance, and we can use this formula to calculate the speed of light in any medium that we know the refractive index of. In our next video, we are going to explain why do different wavelengths, i.e. different colors, appear to split when they pass through this prism 
over here and form a continuous spectrum also known as a rainbow join us for the next video guys if there are any questions feel free to drop a comment and thank you very much for watching